Hey guys, welcome to the Element Pack Pro widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll talk about the SVG Maps widget that's added to the Element Pack Pro 7.0 version update. Let's start with dragging and dropping the widget inside the page. A widget interface shows an SVG map of the world by default. You can zoom into the map from the options by selecting specific continent or subcontinent or countries. But let's focus on the whole world map first. Here you can select between visualization and custom map display types. Selecting visualization lets you show legends on the map. By selecting custom display type, you can control how the tooltip would trigger over the map. None is selected by default and you can choose between hover and click. Here you can select the text font size for the tooltip along with bold and italic textile switchers. You may hover over the deep blue area on the map and see how the tooltip shows up. Actually, this region is in blue by default because it's already been listed under the regions section. You can add more regions or simply edit the current ones. Each region item box lets you select a country from the drop down menu. Then select a color for that region and then edit the tooltip content. For instance, we can display the total population of a certain region through the tooltip. The information to display here can be anything, could be the number of customers or franchises in different regions or something like that. You can color each region differently and will have plenty of colors available to you. Not to forget, you can actually put a short name for each region right below the select country option. Like this, you can go for any data you want to show using the SVZ Maps widget. Wait, there's a bit more inside the style tab. Here you can customize the height and width of the map. Also customize the map background color, inactive region color and borders color. For the tooltip, the options start with tooltip height, width and then expands into the text color, background type, padding, margin and border type options. You can put reverse colors for the text and background here. Then just adjust the padding and that's all. Like that, you can make the best use of the SVZ maps to conquer the world. Sorry, I mean to show your brand influence over multiple regions at once. So, that's all for today. Hope this video helped. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and get updates on new tutorials. Stay safe and see you next time.